slash craft room tour. This is where all the magic happened. I'm just doing a pan over really quickly and then I'll get into where a lot of this stuff is from and where I keep everything. So, okay, so we are gonna start off with this wall right here. I know that looks a little bit janky, but inside of it, it is so stunning. My dad and husband made it for me and I did the outside, that's why it looks like that. But it is for whenever I go to market, it's just a prop stand for like my pom-poms, car coasters, and car felties. It has like little labels in them, in there and everything. It's so freaking cute. I'll like have a picture up whenever I go to market and pop-up shops so you can see what it looks like. So this wall, it just has like my desk area, my paints, and then I just keep my ring light right there just out of convenience. I absolutely love that print that I got from a girl off of Etsy. And then this circle thing, I always get so many questions about. I got it from at home. Usually when I'm working, I always have Nemo's Dreamscapes on. I love it because they don't have any ads, so it'll just run for like 8 to 11 hours, depending on which video you pick. And I love oldies, and there's like rain in the background, so yeah. And here I just have like my Germex, um, disinfectant, alcohol for whenever I'm cleaning my earrings. It's just really convenient to reach for. And then in here I just keep like my hole puncher. Oh, that's my baby. <laughs> and um, my earring tools, little knickknacks and stuff like that. There's my planner and my iPad. Then on this wall, I absolutely love it. I had this in my, whenever this was my beauty room um, and it just gives off so much light and it's super cute for whenever I'm fixing to like shoot a video or like show what earrings look like. It just, I can see myself when I'm shooting. So I really, really love it. Then I got this off of um, the Ikea website. I love it because you could just take these off and whenever I'm working, I'll like move them over here, put them back, love them. And I had them whenever this was my beauty studio too. I got that little guy off Amazon, love it. This off Amazon too, I'll like doodle stuff on there that I need to get done. Here's my Rolo machine under here. I love it because it just prints right underneath and I can just grab the labels so and then I have my little hole punchers and then um, I got these pink labels off of Amazon I'm so stoked about them and then this little silicone mat I got it off Amazon as well and then over here I moved these all the way up close to the ceiling and I just love the look it makes the room look so much taller than what it really is and I get so many questions off this island. She's like beat up. I've had her for a year, but it is a kitchen island. I got it off Amazon for like 500 bucks and I do so much work off of this island. So yeah, that's where my Lucy Clay machine sits. I love her. Now let's show you what's in the drawers. I just have like different types of scissors and um, cheater glasses because sometimes my contacts will bother me and these just help me see when I'm painting. A toothbrush for cleaning off earrings. My um, shipping tape. It's water activated so I absolutely love that and I keep this little sponge. It came with it. I'll link where I got this because I think it's so freaking cute for small business owners. In this drawer I have all of my baggies and then just extra bags for um, my felties and then I also have tissue paper. I need to get some more of that because I'm already running low. And then in this cabinet right here, I have all of the stuff for my felties. I have scents, felt, and then I was gonna try the aroma bead felties, but I just never got around to it and I'm so busy. I probably will never use that, but I have it there just in case I do. And then I wanna try to make some molds some silicone molds for earrings. So that's why I got that. I'm probably gonna do that next week. So yeah, there's my few scents. And then in this cabinet, this is where all of my props are for earrings. Like that I got a lot of my props from Hobby Lobby, Home Goods, and also whenever I go to Goodwill, I get a lot of them there in this drawer. 
a lot of props too. And then here is my all of my earring stands. And then just different flowers for when I take the, the pictures of the earrings. So that's where I keep all of that. All right. And then on this desk underneath it, I just have my gas mask or my mask for whenever I'm doing resin. Love it. And underneath, that's where I keep like all of my um, drills and stuff for my earrings. It's like a hot mess over there, so we'll just avoid that. So on the side of the island, I love it because on both sides I have these larger cabinets and I needed all the storage I could get, so. This is just stuff that I reach for a lot and I'll kind of get into it. That's my scale whenever I'm shipping stuff off. I don't really use it that much anymore because now I kind of know how much stuff weighs whenever I send it out. I have um, all my glues and different stuff for the polymer clay, like the Easy Bake. My resin and stuff is up here. This is the resin that I'm currently using. I'll probably try a different one whenever I run out. This oil I got from a friend whenever I was pregnant, and I've only used that much, but I swear I use this on all my earrings whenever I ship them out because it gives them like a really nice gloss, and then it dries and smells so stunning. The reason I have hairspray in here is because that's, that's what I spray on my palms um, to make them like stay in place really nicely. I have these silicone pads for whenever I paint, and then also whenever I am dealing with resin because it just kind of gets everywhere. All of my earring posts and jump rings are right in here. Here's just like a tray that I have extra like rhinestones and stuff in that I can take in and out. So that's everything that's in there. And then I guess we'll move on to this wall. So this wall is like super fun. I'm not done with this wall. I want to paint it. I just don't know yet. But this is like all of my shipping stuff. I have my little earring or like jewelry boxes right here. My Epson for whenever I am doing sublimation. My Cricut heat press. So I love that. I just keep it down there. And then right up here, I have all of my shipping boxes. I'm kind of running low on my um, bubble mailers, so I ordered more. They should be coming in tomorrow. That's what Amazon says. So this situation, I got this off of Amazon. I actually really love it. It's super handy. I keep my like thank you cards, my errand cards that I make myself right up here, just like little stickies and then like the stickers that I make with my logo and just like thank you stickers and fragile and this has like all of my ink pads, another ink pad, here's another one, my logo. And then um, this is, I take with me whenever I'm doing um, pop-up shops and like markets so people can just follow me, they can scan it and go. And then since it's fixing to be Valentine's Day, my mom got me this little guy because I'm obsessed with gnomes. Here's my Cricut machine, the Cricut maker. I absolutely love this. It's come in handy so many times. I don't use it that often, but whenever I do, it really is helpful. So this is where I keep my oven. I used to use my oven in the kitchen, but um, the temperature would fluctuate really often and it was hard to like get an even clean bake. So. I just opted to get this black and decker one. Love it. And then I have temperature gauge thermometer in here so that way I can see what the temperature actually is. So on this wall, this is just like leftover earrings that I've had since like market and just like extra freshies and um, car coasters that I've made. So that way I could just take them whenever people buy them on my website. And here is where the magic happens. Let me move this little plant. I got this at Walmart, but let's get that out of the way. So this is all of my cutters. I have some more of them in my closet. We'll get to that here in a second. I need to get two more of these. They actually came in that hot pink and it was just way too like bright for me. 
So I painted them like this really fun, how cute. So yeah, there is all of my cutters. And then this wall I really need to fix up because I used to have um, my grass wall over here. Everybody always asks about the grass wall. It was for my wedding, that never happened. So I just moved the grass in my son's room and in here. So yes, those are just like little oil stains, so don't mind them. But I got this from Hobby Lobby and I absolutely love it. It's so stinking cute. All right, so we'll start with this drawer. This has like all of uh, stencils and silk screens. I have tons of them. I need to get better storage for these. And then I also have all of these texture pads for earring making. I love them. And then right in here, I have all a whole bunch of like rollers, like all of my rollers, texture rollers. And then um, underneath there, I have just more like larger texture pads. So I'll close that up. And these like little boxes in here, I just have little fun. Um, see how stinking cute. And then some more of these embossed like textures. And then these are just like rainbow cutters that I have in here, different arches. So, yes. We'll move on to the next one. And here's all of my fringe for earrings and then like some leftover tattoo prints for earrings that are water activated. And then here I have like my pom-pom sizes. This is the thing that you use for pom-poms. I have like different letters and stuff like that for earrings, more like little cutters and just miscellaneous stuff in the store. Here is all of my clay. It's not super organized, but I have clay in this drawer, clay in this drawer, and some more of the larger bricks of clay in this drawer. In this one, I have like all of my feather stuff in here, some pressed flowers that I need to use like ASAP, a lot of my crystals, gold flakes, and yeah, it's like a lot of more my rhinestones and like just things like that are. And here I have all of my beads. This is like an extra one that I had, a felty. So like whenever I say like, oh, I make fel felties, like this is kind of like what they look like. Super cute. All right, so here is all of my beads and just like um, necklace chains and stuff like that in here just to show you guys so moving on this drawer is literally all of my molds that i helped create with um cindy she's so sweet by wells helmet handmade she made all of these for me i like sent her designs and we recreated them together so this drawer is all of my shimmers and glitters for earrings a lot of this i got off amazon or hobby lobby okay so this wall is super bare i just leave it as my pink wall because i do a lot of filming right here underneath there that is where my other stand is that i take with me whenever i do market i have a lot of boxes underneath there that I need to put together so they can fit in here. I'm hopefully gonna get a bigger one of these racks I got off Amazon, um, just because this one doesn't fit too much on there. I didn't look at the size whenever I bought it, but that is the last remaining makeup that I have in there. Small, extra ring light. And then on my fan, I absolutely love these. I got them off Amazon. They're so stinking cute. Also the wallpaper, I don't know if I mentioned that. It is from Target. It's not the best quality. Like I have a little mishaps, but I was in a rush because um, I didn't want my husband to try to talk me out of putting this on there. So I did it while he was at work. And those little stands I got from Hobby Lobby. Love them. Okay, so we're gonna pan over into the closet where I have some more goodies. So in my closet, this is what it looks like.
from afar. This is where all of my acrylic yarn is. I kind of have it color coordinated a little bit. And then just some like finished palms in here. An extra little stand that my husband made me. Some more earrings and just like miscellaneous stuff. My earring prop for the back. And then up here, those are my husband's jerseys. That's the last little bit of stuff that I have left that is his. Um, these little container um, storage bin things I got off Amazon and I just labeled them. I had like all of my tassels, extra cutters, my alphabet cutters, all of these real quick co cutters, different stuff in there like my hoops everything is just sorted very very nicely all of my paper and stuff like that is over there for printing and my earring cards are over there so right here i just have clay this is like strictly clay that is color coordinated kind of down here is like whenever i get lazy and i just throw them in little balls because i'm gonna like use them the next day up there in those containers is just finished earrings that need to be assembled, my cameras. That's all extra storage and miscellaneous stuff. So down here is just like one of the mirrors that I take whenever I'm at um, market day, some extra paints and perfumes. And yeah, it's kind of a hot mess, but those are like even more props that I take with me, some stands, my little vacuum that I got off Amazon but yeah you guys so I try to have everything super organized because as soon as it isn't organized that's whenever things get really really messy so I'm so proud of these storage um compartments they just make me so happy like I always keep this open because it's so stinking cute but yeah, you guys, that is the gist of my office slash work room slash craft room. This is where all of the magic happens. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is kind of the end. If you have any questions, just link them down below.